Another day, another English lesson. In American slang, everyday expressions. Welcome to today's lesson on American slang. Slang is informal language often used in everyday conversations, especially among younger people. It's important to know that slang is usually casual and can change over time, so it's great to learn some current terms that people use often. Today, we'll look at a few popular slang words you might hear in the US or online. 1. The GOAT. The GOAT stands for, greatest of all time. It's used to describe someone who is the best at something, often in sports, music, or any talent. Example. Many people say that Michael Jordan is the GOAT of basketball. 2. A flex. A flex is when someone shows off something they have or can do, like expensive clothes or a cool talent. Example. Posting pictures of your new car on Instagram is such a flex. 3. To ghost. To ghost someone means to suddenly stop communicating with them, especially in texting or messaging, without giving a reason. Example. I thought we were friends, but she ghosted me after our last conversation. 4. Woke. What it means. Woke originally meant being aware of social issues, like racism or inequality, but now it can also be used to describe someone who is very politically or socially conscious. Example. He's really woke when it comes to environmental issues. Tip. This word has become a bit controversial. Some people might use it positively, while others might use it negatively. 5. To chill. To chill means to relax or take it easy. It's often used to talk about spending time with friends in a relaxed way. Example. Do you want to chill at my place tonight and watch a movie? 6. To crash. To crash means to go to sleep, usually when you're very tired, or sometimes to stay over at someone's house. Example. I'm so tired, I'm going to crash after this party. 7. Cringe. Cringe describes something that makes you feel embarrassed or awkward, often because it's so uncool or inappropriate. Example. That old dance video I made is so cringe now. 8. Vibe. A vibe refers to the general feeling or mood of a person, place, or situation. It's often used to describe whether a place feels fun, relaxed, or tense. Example. The cafe has a nice vibe, it's so cozy and welcoming. Now, complete the sentences with goat, flex, ghost, woke, chill, crash, cringe, or vibe. One, when my dad dances at home, it's so cringe, I turn red with embarrassment. Two, let's chill by the pool this afternoon. We can just relax and listen to music. Three, Peter never answers her emails anymore. She hates when people ghost her like that. Four, after the long hike, I needed to crash on the couch for an hour. Five, the empty beach had a really peaceful vibe, with just the sound of waves and warm sunshine. Seven, 
showing everyone that diamond ring was definitely a flex, everyone was talking about it. Eight, she's really woke about climate change, she's always talking about fighting pollution. Thank you for watching this worldwide ELT English language learning video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.